big big takeaways been from them interviews in terms of influencing how you understand the game and then what you actually coach from that it's 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 hard to really pinpoint that when you sent that question to me i'm like this is really hard because i and i don't mean to sound like all fluffy here but every every person i have on the podcast i'll i'll get something away from them out of them that i will apply or it'll be counter to what i'll apply what i would apply and i'll i'll then think you know I, I'm doing it for this reason, not for that reason. Like, you know, when I interviewed you, for example, the, the mental model, I, I already had one kind of tucked away in, a, in Google Drive somewhere. But, but talking to you in that interview really emphasized, man, I got I to gotta, I gotta really tighten this up and it's got to be a living document for the players and I, a light team culture. I've got to be talking about this every week, every session. Um, so, you know, as simple as that. And then, you know, there's some rock star moments with Eddie and Stuart Lancaster and, and, and checks, as I call him, I, I'm allowed to call him checks now. Uh, <laughs> and they, they've just been, I've just been a bit of a fan uh, for those ones. Um, but there have been like some total revolutionary moments. Like uh, Richard Cheatham um, was a big one for me. Rusty was a big one for me. Um, don't tell him. Um, I got to get Fletch on because um, he'll probably do a better job than than Rusty. Um, but but they were they were big ones. They were the ones that really just kind of uh, I don't want to say revolutionised, but but really changed changed what I was doing um, from a pedagogical standpoint. Um, there's been I, I I like geeking out on the coaching science as well. Um, so what what is the, in terms of skill acquisition? What are the research-based um, methods that we can apply in our practices that have proven to not only increase skills but but retain those skills? Because if we're if we're if we're running a practice session and we're not retaining skills over a long period of time, we're, we've just really we may as well have played ultimate frisbee. And and actually, if we played ultimate frisbee, maybe they would have got better. Um, so I think that's incumbent on coaches to to know this stuff. So. People like Mark Upton, total like underrated legend in this area. Um, Nick Winkleman does some really cool stuff. He's he's with the IRFU um, on the language we use, and when we're giving coaching cues, are we using an external or an internal focus? Um, Richard Shuttleworth, he's uh, the the you know he's big on the constraints led approach uh, and the dynamical system theory. Um, so so understanding what that means is 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 really important as well. Um, and then I suppose um, uh, like the big ones for me for playing style, um, I, I mentioned Lancaster, Eddie, um, but, but having Jim McKay on from the Reds um, was, was really cool because that, that was like, okay, this is a guy who's at the, the professional level. He's coach for Australia. He's now attack for, coach for the Reds. And he is, he is coaching on such a, such a, like a, a coaching philosophy is just that's what drives him so he is all about the principles of play in rugby and every session he has them playing it is based around the principles of play his attack structure is super simple and based around the principles of play um and now if you watch the reds now after i think he's been there three years their offloading game that they they are now playing um they are frighteningly good uh, and I, I just love watching them. I'm not, I'm not, I just like Aussie rugby. I'm not a parochial fan for, for any, any team except for the Wallabies. Um, but what the Reds are doing, um, it kind of just re reaffirmed to me that, okay, principles of play, super important. Same with someone like Pierre Vilpero talking to him. Um, the way they look at the game and coach the game is so simple. Um, and it's, but it's based around core principles that never change uh, no matter what. And um, that is how they base their practice sessions and their attack or defensive structures around it. 